Good morning everyone. In the previous audio on singular and plural nouns, we learnt about the different ways of the formation of nouns, plural nouns. Okay, we had done till number four, that is nouns ending in F or FE change the F or FE to VES and they form their plural. Okay, like thief, thieves, life, lives, wolf, wolves and so on. And in the same one, we also learned that uh, some words which end in a F do not need to drop their F, but you have to simply add S to form their plurals like in these words. Now, the next one we are going to do today is uh, nouns ending in consonant plus Y. Nouns which end in Y and has a consonant before it, its plural, plural is formed by changing Y into I, E, S. You can also say you have to drop the Y and add I, E, S. Here, in the case of hmm, city, you have to drop the Y. Okay? Minus Y and then you add I, E, S. So, it becomes C, I, T, I, E, S, cities. Okay, only after dropping that Y, you can add IES. Baby becomes babies. Army becomes armies. Okay, but here there are some words which end in Y but have a vowel before them. This was a consonant before Y, but here it is a vowel before the Y. So, such words form their plural by adding only S. Okay, boy becomes boys, monkey becomes monkeys, toy becomes toys. You do not have to change anything there. You simply have to add one S. Okay. When nouns end in vowels and has a Y before it, then the plural is formed by adding only S. So, please do not get confused between consonant plus Y and vowel plus y. One ends in y with a consonant before it and the other ends in y with a vowel before it. So the one which ends in y with a consonant before it, you have to change the last word and add i e s. Okay? You have to change the consonant there and add i e s. But in the other case where you have a vowel before the y, you do not have to change anything. You just have to add s. Now, the other form, other way of changing uh, singular to plural is here. Some nouns, these nouns do not follow any of the rules given on the previous page. So, you have to remember their singular and plural nouns. Okay? Now, singular child becomes children. Okay? And here you can also say, actually, these words, some of these words change the vowels inside them. The vowels are changed from one form to another means one vowel changes to another form of vowel foot becomes feet o both are vowels here and change into another vowel okay goose becomes geese man becomes men mouse becomes mice okay but not ox ox does not come under this rule changing the in vowels inside them ox is like child coming becoming a children ox becomes a and oxen Tooth becomes teeth and woman becomes women. So, we must remember their singular and plural form. And when you see words like these, foot, goose, man, so you can think of the rule uh, of changing the vowels inside them. Okay? Now, the next one is uh, deer, sheep, fish, have the same form in the singular as well as the plural. They do not change whether it is singular or plural. 
they remain the same. I saw a deer in the zoo. Now, a deer means singular. I saw many deer in the zoo is plural. Okay, so deer remains same in both singular and plural. The wolf killed a sheep is singular because a sheep. The wolf killed three sheep. It is plural because there are three sheep there. We caught a fish. A fish is singular. We caught a number of fish. Means many fishes. Now in the case of fish, uh, you have to remember that if it is a fish of the same breed, same kind, okay, even if there are hundreds of the same kind of fish, then you say fish. But if there are three different breeds, three different kinds of fish, then you say fishes. All right. Also, in the case of fruit, uh, fruit is used in singular, okay, provided the fruit is of a different variety. There are different fruits on the table. Mangoes, bananas, oranges, apples. Okay. Even if there are four different varieties of fruits. But only four on the table. Then you say fruits. But if there are 50 apples on the table. Then you say fruit. Because there are only apples. You can say apples are plural. But fruit will be, remain singular. Because there is only one kind of fruit on the table. Okay. Fruit is used here. Let's read this. But sometimes we use fishes also. We saw a variety of fishes in the tank. Variety means, see, look at the picture. Four different kinds of fish. Fishes, okay. And here there is only one fish. But if there are, I told you earlier, if there are hundreds of this kind of fish in one bowl, then you say fish. But if there are only four different kinds of fishes, then you say fishes, okay. Fishes suggests different kinds of fishes fruit is used in the singular fruit is good for health but we do, do use fruits when we are talking of a variety of fruits i was impressed by the variety of fruits on the table okay now scissors trousers shorts and spectacles are always used in the plural form because they always appear in a pair, okay? These scissors are quite sharp. Her spectacles are broken. My trousers have been torn. Small boys usually wear shorts. Now, these are always used in the plural form because they always are present in a pair, more than one form. Some nouns like scenery, furniture, advice, information and news have no plural form. They are always used in the singular form. You do not say sceneries, you say scenery. Furniture, though there are many different kinds of furniture, chairs, tables, sofa and so on, you say furniture. Advice also, if somebody gives you lots of advice, you don't say advises, you say advice. Information also is used in the singular form and news is also in the singular form. Old furniture was put to sale. See now, furniture here cannot be one piece of chair or one piece of table or one piece of wood. There will be lots of uh, different varieties of furniture but you use it in the singular form. The news office transfer was true. Now the news is always used in the singular form the news though it has s there okay it is not a plural form it is singular news of his transfer was true you have used was because news is always in the singular form okay so this much for today and uh, please go through these pages carefully all the different forms of uh, changing singular to diff uh, plural forms and uh, try to understand. If you do not understand anything, you can always call me back and ask me. Now, I will give you an assignment to do. Okay? And have a good day. Thank you.